Stone Age, Copper Age, Bronze Age, Iron Age, Silicon Age, what we have today. We name the periods of mankind after materials. And that tells you something about the importance of materials for mankind. And my vision is to be able to make any arbitrary artificial material with properties that natural materials just don't have. So maybe someday you can come to me and tell me what property you want and I go and design this material and then we can actually even make it in three dimensions with the technology we have today. One example that we are working at uh, at the moment is to build materials that are good at absorbing shocks that could, you could use for a helmet or for a bumper at your car with the difference that the, these materials would swallow the energy but they are not destroyed after the impact. The Hector Fellow Academy is a young science academy offering a platform for interdisciplinary exchange to outstanding researchers. The academy promotes young talents associated with the Hector Fellows. It seeks to initiate research projects on new scientific issues, in this way contributing to solutions of societal challenges. This is the ambition also of Professor Martin Wegener of the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology. Martin Wegener is one of the world's leading nanoscientists, winner of the Leibniz Prize and the Descartes Prize and Hector Fellow since 2009. Martin Wegener performs research on metamaterials and their properties. He and his team are trying to deviate light, sound or heat around an object as though it wasn't there. The scientists build invisibility cloaks. We mix two ordinary materials, one in which light propagates slowly and one in which light propagates faster. And we do that in a fashion to get a particular velocity of light at any coordinate in space. The, the issue here is, however, that you have to do this on a spatial scale much smaller than the wavelength of light. In the case of light waves, the scientists work with a mix of plastic and air. The more plastic they use, the more slowly light moves. The researchers produce the metamaterial with a laser beam focused on a light spot. When the light hits the molecule of a transparent photoresist, it causes a chemical reaction. The laser is like a pen. The principle of deviation can also be applied to mechanical waves. The key is that we must tell the mechanical wave at each point in the structure with which velocity it must travel. For example, at this point and in this direction it got to be fast, in this direction it must be slow. And that is just not possible with ordinary materials. A possible practical use of mechanical invisibility cloaks could be in separating an object from its surroundings. This could protect buildings from earthquakes. Another mechanical invisibility cloak hides objects from being touched. The scientists build a structure around the object. They use a crystalline material structured with sub-micrometer accuracy. It consists of needle-shaped cones whose tips meet. The fairy tale of the princess and the pea is helpful in explaining the qualities of the material. A hard cylinder is installed inside the invisibility cloak whose cavity can hold all kinds of objects. The metamaterial structure hides them completely. The princess would no longer feel the pea. Martin Wegener and his team are excited about one question. How can they use metamaterials to influence waves and other energy flows in physics? At the same time, Martin Wegener counsels young entrepreneurs in their efforts to bring techniques from the laboratory to the market. Techniques he uses for his pioneering fundamental research. 